still in limbo. Well, when you've been waiting over 100 years, it's a little bit annoying. Queensland Rail now says it warned the Department of Transport the signalling system chosen for the rail link wasn't the best for the job, ranking it lower <laughs> than the others being considered. Queensland Rail says its engineers helped evaluate the signalling system in April 2014. The Newman government awarded the tender for the system just two months later. Last week, the opening of the rail link was postponed. Queensland Rail says it reiterated its concerns with the technology, but was advised that the system was significantly cheaper. The laying of the rail line, the ballast and the tracks, uh, and uh, the signalling system commenced after the change of government in January 2015. The opposition leader refusing to reveal if he'd even spoken with the former transport minister. I've never spoken to Scott Emerson. I speak to Scott Emerson on many things all the time. Oh, well, I'm not going to go into all of my discussions with my shadow cabinet. Have you spoken to Scott Emerson about it? Did he say yes or no answer? Well, I've spoken to Scott Emerson about many things. I'm not uh, engaging in a blame game. I've asked for an independent audit. An order to General's report released in 2015 revealed there could have been $7 million saved. But at what cost? You know, the government was quite correct. It shouldn't have been called. They didn't have a choice. The Transport Minister will announce in the coming days who will run an independent audit to establish just who's at fault for installing the bungled signalling system here at Petrie Station. There's now no commitment to a finished date. All things take time, I suppose, yeah. Zara Atu, 9 News.